Today I want to talk about my wish list for the next Sony A77 firmware update. We're currently running firmware version 1.05. 1.05. So let's talk about some of the features that I would really like to see. They fixed most of the outstanding bugs with the previous version. They could still speed it up some, which would be really nice. There's a little bit of lag. I wish the switch between the back LCD and the viewfinder when you put it up to your eye was faster. Still a little bit of a lag. Every once in a while I'll miss a shot just because by the time I put it up there it's not on in time. My biggest thing that I would like fixed or my biggest issue is the light meter. As soon as you put this into manual mode, the light meter goes from minus 5 to plus 5 it drops to minus 3 to plus 3 for some odd reason. I have no clue why the light meter drops almost in half as soon as you switch it into manual mode when it's most important. So that's really frustrating. I want it all the way all the time. Uh, seems like a really simple fix. I don't know why it's disabled, but for some reason it currently is. Bracketing. I would love more options. I want to do 9 frames plus minus 1 EV each uh, frame. I want options. I want to be able to customize how many shots, how many brackets, not just go through these few presets that are always leave me wanting more. Another thing that goes along with bracketing, I'd love the self-timer and bracketing mode to be together. I want to be able to put it in like a five-stop bracket or a five-shot bracket, press the button, have the self-timer wait go off and fire all five shots. I'm usually doing that from a tripod. <clears throat> Right now, you have to press the stupid button. That does not work. I use a cable release that's a workaround. We need the self-timer to trigger all of the brackets, or at least a mode that'll do that. Another kind of easier fix, um, the light meter, when, it's, when you have it in bracketing mode, at least right now with a limited light meter, where it only shows minus three to plus three stops, if you're bracketing at plus minus three, only one point is on the screen when the light meter is centered, so you can't tell if you're centering the point for 0 EV plus 3 minus 3. You can't really tell which one is which. So if they could change the color of the center of 0 or uh, change it from black to white, some way to distinguish which is the middle point so you can center that easier when you're doing a really wide bracketed range. It's hard to tell right now. Uh, it seems like with the last improvement, they improved the uh, ISO a little bit. I'd like to see them continue to improve the ISO, especially in RAW. Um, just figure out some way to do a little bit better. For me, the, a big one is tethering. I don't know why they left this off. The previous 7 series model of Alpha had tethering, laptop tethering. Every model of Canon has it from the entry level all the way up. Nikon has it. I don't understand why they didn't include that in a basically a professional camera. That is a really useful feature that I would use in the studio all the time. A nice to have, I always choose my focus points manually, but on some backgrounds, if it's really bright or really dark, it's kind of hard to see which one you have chosen. So if you could change the color of the point uh, that you have selected, it's EVF, it's software, you should be able to do that. Customization, there's a question mark button that is kind of cool for the first week you have the camera and then it's utterly useless forever. If you need some way to customize that button to do something practical, maybe turn off steady shot, do something. Uh, kind of a, another cool feature is um, how about a mode where you take a shot and as soon as you pull your eye away it automatically displays the last shot on the LCD. That would be kind of cool. Don't see why that can't happen. One thing I would really love to see is the return of the steady shot shake indicator, the three bars. Um, I found that super useful on the A55 just to know it helps me focus my breathing, like how to steady the camera, and when to fire. It was a really useful indicator and now it's gone. I don't understand why it's gone, so please bring it back. Probably not going to happen, but a cool thing would be maybe pixel binning in RAW. So drop it to 12 megapixels, but um, better ISO performance. Probably 
possible, maybe, I'm not sure. Flash control groups. Uh, it would be really cool if we could control flash compensation to a more than one group. So if I could have a back set of flashes and a front set of flashes and control them individually. Right now I can do flash compensation with remote flashes, but it only control they're all in one group. So that's okay, but I would really like to be able to control different groups. Okay, so that was the still picture kind of wish list, uh, video wish list for this, the A77. I need more than 1600 ISO in video. I don't care if it limits the amount of time if from half hour to 10 minutes to five minutes. I don't care, I need more ISO in video. 1600 limits, a 1600 ISO limitation is just not doing it. There has to be a way to turn off video mode cropping. Even if the cropping image stabilization is turned off, it still seems to crop the image and zoom in a little bit. We need it to not crop at all. Um, seems like that should be possible. And maybe even to allow us to use the hardware steady shot instead of the software cropping version, even if it limits our record time to one minute or two minutes or five minutes, something, most of my shots are not that long anyway, I don't want it cropped, but I'd still like to have steady shot. One of my kind of like wish list items, this camera can record 1080p 60 frames a second, which is a lot of bandwidth. It should have plenty of bandwidth to say, drop the resolution in half to 720p and then double the frame width, maybe 120 frames a second, or 480p at 200 frames a second. That would change the game if this could do super high speed recording. That would be incredible. I think it has the bandwidth. I don't understand why that wouldn't be an option. It'd be really cool, nice to have. It would make this an all even better camera. Uh, another thing, this camera needs some way to disable that video button. It's in a position that gets accidentally knocked once in a while. Just turn it off and then when in video mode, use the actual shutter release to enable or to begin video recording. That would be cool. And then I know it's totally dreaming, but um, if it could do like 4K or 3K or 2K video, some higher resolution than 1080p. Um, drop the frame weight, it probably has the bandwidth, sensor has enough pixels to do it, so I know it's a dream, but anyway. Uh, so there's my wish list for the next firmware update, maybe firmware 2.0 for the Sony Alpha A77. Hope Sony's watching. Thanks.